Hi, and welcome back to the Epicurean Kitchen. I'm Catherine Brown, PR Manager. And I'm Emma Porter, Loyalty Club Manager. Now today we're going to do something a little bit different in the Epicurean Kitchen. I'm actually going to take over, Emma. I'm going to tell you all about wine today. And I hear you've got a bit of a simple recipe today, Emma. Yep, this is what life should be about. Barbecue should be simple and effective. So, marinated already, bit of a dressing. Tell us about the wine. <laughs> well, we're looking at wine that goes well with barbecue food. So that's why we've got the lamb chops out today. And uh, really, it's all about sharing and getting involved when you're at the barbecue. Of course, you've got friends over. And one of the things that I really think that's really important about sitting down around a table, people are talking about food, so why not get them talking about the wine? Fantastic. So we've actually got three wines here today. And these are three wines that I think would actually be interesting to have on that table when you have those lamb chops being presented. So our chops today are in lemon zest, olive oil, salt and pepper, and then optional bay and juniper. I have a juniper problem, so I haven't put it on there. But those are quite strong flavours. So how do they work with the wines, Catherine? Well, that's why I've actually chosen these three. Uh, firstly, we have the Merlot. And as you can see, this is, it's a grand wine. It's in, it's in our big bottle. It's in the limited release bottle, and it's only available to Epicureans and Salador visitors. Um, this is a beautiful mouth-filling wine and I, I've actually chosen this because I think it will actually go well with the walnuts. Okay. Yeah, so I've got this fantastic little dressing here which I've pre-toasted walnuts and then we've warmed up brown sugar, olive oil and vinegar and created this fantastic dressing with fresh mint and that's actually been sat and cooled for quite a while. So once our lamb chops are ready, we'll be putting that dressing on. Great. Fantastic. So. And we also have the Tempranillo. This is actually originally a Spanish grape variety. And I've chosen this because of the meat that we're using. The Spanish love their meat. And uh, I really think it will just, it'll be interesting to see how it lines up with these other two. That great tapas flavors and just enjoying food, relaxing, good wine. Exactly, and the Spanish have it so right. It's all about sharing food, sitting around talking about food. And of course, that's what we, we love doing. And I see this, this Tarango, not uh, maybe familiar with a lot of people. I have, a, I have a passion for Tarango. Uh, this is a wine that we developed with the CSIRO uh, back in the late 70s, or early 80s. And it's a medium bodied red wine that we serve chilled. So really- it's like chilled red. It's a chilled red. My dad's a big fan of those. Uh, it's, it's a bit fruity as well. Certainly not as fruity as something like our Sienna or our Dolcetto and Syrah. Okay. But it's got a nice bit of fruit, which I think will work really well with sort of these mixed flavours of the mint, the walnuts, and also the lamb. Because the lamb actually has a little bit of sweetness to it as mm. well when you think about it. Um, so yes, this is served cold. And as I've just said, like think, bringing all these things together, this is the perfect barbecue wine in my mind. It sounds like a wine for everyone because it's not heavy, it's not fruity, it's not one thing. It just sounds like something that would be really easy. And also it's really low in tannins. I was sort of talking about the tannin from the Merlot working well with the walnuts. Um, but I think the fact that a Tarango doesn't have much tannin, I think it will actually just sit really well with all the different flavours. We should try it, Catherine. Perfect. Do your job today. <laughs> <laughs> now you've dished up the lamb. I know. So our happy lamb cutlets through the magic of television have cooked through. And we've got that beautiful walnut dressing or salsa maybe you could call it. Now this actually has a, an Italian name and our Italian friends are going to shoot me because I'm not going to say it right, but I think we call it scottaditi, which means to literally scorch your fingers because it's so good you're going to grab it off the barbecue and eat it. So if we were in the joy of summer and we were cooking off our barbecue, I challenge us, but we're going to take it easy today. My fingers are going to be alright? Your fingers are going to be good, your lips will be fine, your tummy should be happy. <laughs> Very good. We'll go Let's in. go. <laughs> what was that thing you said about never eating on TV? <laughs> I'll let you go first in that case. Oh wow. So delicate. <laughs> yep. And you've got the fruit, the sweetness. That's just gorgeous. So, we're covered in lamb here. We're going to leave you to it. Emma? Just a reminder, if you're not an Epicurean, get online, brownbrothers.com.au. It's free and we have lots of fun. Cheers, Cheers Emma. Emma.